All right, so the patch notes for version 6.0 coming the 29th, which is tomorrow. The patch notes came out November 30th. Data related will be was added to the game. New catalog, stuff like that. This is all everything I've already covered in the last video if you want to go to that. But after that, there are going to be some main weapon changes that we'll get to. But here is another look, kind of just a just quick look at this. Now let's move on to what we really want to know. And that is the weapon changes and special changes or whatever they've been doing. Anyways, let's get right to it. Specifications for some main weapons have been changed. That's a 96 gal range blaster dread ringer. Okay. And heavy edit spotling. Okay. So 96 gal reduced the amount of ink consumed by, so they buffed the 96 gal reduced the amount of ink consumed by approximately 8%. Okay. So they buffed its ink consumption for range blaster, increased the radius of ink splatter at the point of impact with a floor or wall when detonated midair by approximately 15%. Oh, okay. So it increases how much its uh, ink coverage is for Range Blaster, which is cool. Dread Ringer. Reduced the amount of ink consumed by approximately 10%. Now, I've, obviously, I won't know how good this is, but I, I wonder if it'll let you get an extra burst in. I wonder if that's enough to let you actually do more shots before you have to actually refill your ink tank. To be honest, I don't know if that's enough. I think... We'll see how this works, but I don't know if that's going to be enough. Heavy edit spotlighting increased the number of spray droplets created by shots. Really? So it, it helps it? They buffed its ink coverage? Interesting. Ooh, reef slider. Okay. It's the only special weapon that's changed. After activation, players become invulnerable to damage. Approximately 13th of a second. Yeah, 13th of a second faster than before. So that bit of invulnerability okay it, it's that was buffed and that's i mean we'll see i hope that's enough but that doesn't seem like much of a thing for reef slider okay so they buff jet squelcher and l3 so vanilla jet squelcher and an l3 nozzle nose jet squelcher is 180 now uh, l3 nozzle nose is 190 that's that's nice that's nice which is whatever yeah so changes to anarchy battles at the end of a series and anarchy the player's total number of five win streaks will be displayed as five wins in a row alongside a count a player's five win streak will increase each time they finish a series with five consecutive wins the number will reset to zero and players reset their rank finish a series with three losses attempt to rank a battle or win the season changes okay so now they actually reward you for going on win streaks which that's pretty cool that's really cool on the screen where players from from both teams appear at the start of an anarchy battle a symbol corresponding to the number of five win streaks that a player has achieved will be displayed oh boy that's gonna make people target them that's how that's at least what i get at the beginning added badges that players can unlock based on the total number of five win streaks in anarchy oh wow okay uh changes to x battle so it seems like wow so they changed a lot okay so changes to x battle the matchmaking system has changed making it possible to form battles from additional weapon combinations okay players with x power of less than 2000 and players with x power of 2000 or higher will no longer be matched together okay so now they split it up so now if you're below 2000 you'll get those players and if you get above 2000 you'll get high rank players i feel like that's going to extend matchmaking times even though that making it possible to form battles with additional weapons i still think this is going to be higher queue times because not a lot of people can get above 2000 so i wonder if it's like people that get an s plus and just play an x because it's like a i guess it seems like a decent solo queue and then this change will be immediately after the update so okay increase the minimum range to x power can change when battles are finished additionally the change in a player's x power will now be based on both what their x power was before the battles and their win loss ratio during them okay this change will be applied and shows it will not apply to battles during okay that's fine yeah so this is all happening after the update i guess they have to keep clarifying for some reason so let's see minimum range of x power changes if you're less than 2500 if you get three losses in a row you'll lose 75 but if you get three loss one win you get 50 25 and then you start gaining if you win three lose two you get 25 win three lose one 50 75 if you got to go on a three win streak Okay, 45 for zero, 03. Okay, so that means that this is a much higher bracket. 30 to 15. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, they, they greatly reduce how much you lose and how much you gain, but that's just because you're like top bracket. So, I mean, that makes sense. Added badges that players can unlock by reaching X power 2000 or higher. And wow, they actually added badges that player can unlock based on win streaks while at X power 2000 or higher. Added badges that players can get based on their X rankings at the end of the season. These can be obtained by ranking in the top 50,000, 30,000, 10,000, 5,000, 3,000. Oh wow, even 10 and higher. Oh, just 10. I assume it's just 10, but that's cool. Okay, that's really, really cool. First time that a player meets the conditions to obtain one of the X Battle badges added in this update, the design will change depending on whether the player was part of either the Takaroka division or the Tenatech division. 
Now changes to Salmon Run, it seems like they gave quite a bit here. A new King Salmon called Megalodontia, or Joe, may appear. Kraken Royale and Triple Splash Downs have been added to provide it special. Really? Cra they added Kraken and Triple Splash to Salmon Run? No way. The conditions for the provision of special weapons have been adjusted. Okay. But it doesn't really say? Oh, okay. So it'll give you two, two of these, two out of the five here for the distance stuff. So now everybody will have, at least two players will have a range special that's good i think that seems pretty good to me i don't know i think it wasn't it like one or something like that last time i don't even know but seeing kraken and triple splash i think that's the is this the first time we've seen new specials added to salmon run if so that is fantastic and i can't wait to potentially get those in big run if they're in the big run uh speaking of big run in big runs the score required for obtaining a gold silver or bronze decoration will be predetermined for each occurrence and will be announced via the anarchy splat cast at the start of the big run in normal jobs when stages and supplied weapons change uh uh, if a player has a badge that corresponds to a stage after the switch, they will now start with a higher job title than before. So if you have a gold badge, you stay at 400. If you have a silver, you stay at 300. If you have bronze, you have 200. As before, the tile corresponded to previous job title, and so the other, and so that will reset you back to the 40. Type of King Salmon it's appearing will now display in the stage information. Thank you. Thank you for this. We can actually now not guess what's going to be popping up. Grisco shape of the salmon meter will now change based. Yes. Nice. Yes. When replaying job scenarios from private jobs or extra work, the players targeted during rush for the griller special waves, as well as the landing spots of Chinooks during mothership special waves will now be replicated. That's pretty cool. So it's not random. It's going to actually be like an extra work where it's just going to be the same. I assume it's going to target the player that had that weapon. If you're replaying it with like a different group. I like that a lot actually it's really 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 cool all these changes are great i don't know how kraken's gonna be i feel like it's gonna be pretty fun though but seeing the two and triple splashdown being added that's great i love that i feel like that's going to be very effective against the, a bunch of different enemies that like are the the shielded guys especially the i forget what they're the cars the little cars that will ram you i forget their names but i feel like it'd be a lot better against them so these changes are great i, I love these changes uh changes to splatfest the matchmaking system for pro has changed making it possible to form battles with new weapons. okay so they're kind of spreading the weapon combination matchmaking table turf deck names and the total number of spaces will now display on the screen where players select deck to use in battle changes to the lobby players who have already obtained all the weapons currently available at ammo knights will now be able to exchange extra shell lines for shell out tokens that's fantastic i saw that they also changed this at the top players will now be able to obtain one sheldon license at the end of each season so now you get one at the end of the season i assume there's no precondition for that I'm, I, I assume you probably have to just play for people especially when they stop updating the game for people getting extra sheldon licenses and they don't need any more weapons that's great to use i think i'm I'm still gonna probably save mine but if i get any extras and you know it's like a bit later in the life this is this is great to have now for sure by pressing y on the shell machine okay they can, okay so press y on the shell machine added a feature that displays information such as changes in the tides of battle and graph form when watching a battle replay really this can be displayed by pressing the r button so they upgraded the battle replays and now they had it okay so now i guess you can see how it's going that's so cool okay wait hold on spot net three i'm seeing some here players can now get turf ink points from salmon run to support crusty sean's wonder crust yes biggest complaint was the fact that using playing salmon run doesn't give you that progress at all thank you thank you nintendo okay add a new journey to the they added a new journey players will be able to support journey four after completing the first three journeys journey four can only be supported with points earned by inking turf from chill season 2023 onward no way yes Oh, that's so cool. I hope they don't increase the rewards because of the Salmon Run support. Uh, the type of King Salmonid that will appear will now be displayed on Salmon Run's schedule. So on the mobile app, the shape of the meter. Okay, so now it's in the job, job logs. Okay, so this is all the Salmon Run changes that they're applying to Splatnet 3. And let's read this. This update focuses on adding features for Chill Season 2023, which starts in December, as well as adding features to Anarchy and X, changes the salmon and, and tweaks the multiplayer for anarchy battle series we have created a unique goal for this mode by tracking and recognizing five win streaks which is really cool it's now going to have its own purpose for people that just usually just play x battles but now series is going to have more stuff to it too which is cool in x battles we have added changes that make different variations occur more frequently than before to mac make it easier for players to set their own individual goals great job nintendo great job on this i'm losing my voice but great job i love this this. 
the set on their own individual goals, even after playing this mode for a while. The longevity, people. You gotta make sure the players are still having fun, especially with the variety. If you're high level, that's good. With Samer Run, we have made changes that make it easier to play with a goal in mind during big runs and adjustments to job titles when scheduled changes during normal jobs. For battles, we added new weapons and special weapons. We also have adjusted some weapons. Our next update is planned for the middle and focus on balance adjustments. So we might ha have another stage change. So it seems like that's gonna be the, the running thing here is stage changes are gonna be, like the reworks are gonna be mid-season. And I think that's a perfect place to put it because technically, even though the stages should not have, let's, let's be real, changes should not have been like this, that a rework should not be a thing. Map reworks, sure, you like perfecting a map and whatnot, but with the way these stages are, it's kind of inexcusable to release bad stages, pretty much what a lot of people say, bad stages, and rework them in the second year of the game. Like we had to deal with this for a year and now these reworks are feeling like new content in a way. That shouldn't be a thing, but the fact that they actually care enough to rework the stages to have them be more fun to play is nice. It's just, it shouldn't be like this. We should, it's, instead it should be getting a new map or a new weapon every mid season update, like not a stage rework. Personally, that's how I feel. I feel like that's how a lot of people feel about that. But it is still nice, even though what it, with, with all that said, it's still nice that they're at least reworking the stages and it's still gonna kind of feel like something new because now we're playing a better stage. You know what I mean? So what we have now, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to work with it like that, but still kind of excusable but I'm okay with it at the same time. Does that make any sense? Anyways, we got all this stuff here with player controls. Uh, I'll link the patch notes down in the description below if you wanna read through these. I'm probably gonna read, read through them in my own time. But for now, that's it for the patch notes videos. I think this is amazing. Especially Salmon Run. Getting more specials to use and making it to where at least two people, instead of just the one, I assume it was just one, but at least two people will now get one of these three. That's just so awesome. I love that. I think the, the big run changes seem interesting I don't know how I feel about them right now. I do actually like this job thing. I'm losing my voice, but hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure to leave a like. If you did, make sure to subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. Let me know down in the comment section below what's your favorite change here in these patch notes. I think these patch notes are a W. Bit of a questionable one parts, but most of all, I think it's a W. Stage walkthroughs, gameplays, all that stuff is going to be up whenever the season goes up. I'll, have, I'll, I'll try to prepare those as fast as possible for you guys. But anyways, I love you all. Have an absolutely fantastic day.